Lately, much attention has been given to shameful events, including criminals, police, arrest, murder, vandalism, rioting, and protests that have plagued the streets of America. These events, of course, are not isolated to just our modern times. During the time leading up to the Revolutionary War, there was a tumultuous stirring in the 1700s. A movement which one might label American Lives Matter. This righteous movement occurred after a long train of abuses against all American citizens of every color and nationality. From the Boston Massacre of 1770, the bombing of Boston and the burning of Charleston in 1774, or in the attacks of Williamsburg, Concord, or Lexington in 1775, Americans were attacked with lethal force. Beyond warfare, here is a short list of bigoted and hateful things those Americans were forced to endure. The innocent were killed and oppressed. Americans were being forced at gunpoint to share their homes with their oppressor's army, where they were forced to take care of all their domestic needs. In many cases, the women in those households were forced to submit their virtue to these savage captors. Those accused of crime were tried in courts with specifically appointed discriminatory judges or they were kidnapped and transported overseas to a prejudice court where they were tried for crimes made up by law enforcement. Many were taken slaves to serve in their oppressor's navy. Americans' money was stolen arbitrarily by the oppressive regime to expand their political stranglehold and ensure their dominance over Americans. A campaign of hate was launched against Americans that promoted internal insurrection and external barbaric warfare from would-be friends whose minds were poisoned by the lies. A military enforced moratorium was placed on their businesses, which caused deplorable economic conditions for American families and children some so bad that it brought death. The hateful and cruel regime then created law enforcement agencies with one purpose, to continually steal, criminalize, harass, and oppress in the midst of misery, prejudice, and dominating hopelessness. Americans then did what any people group would do. They banded together and formed defenses. What they did not do is turn to crime or begin to destroy their own cities or plunder their neighbor's property. Instead, they appealed to heaven and resisted tyranny to defend their God-given rights. Believing that they were thus operating under fundamental biblical principles of self-defense, a leader of this liberation movement, Samuel Adams, boldly warned his people's oppressors, you know that the cause of America is just. You know that she contends for that freedom to which all men are entitled, and that she contends against oppression and more than savage barbarity. The blood of the innocent is upon your hands and all the waters of the ocean will not wash it away. We again make our solemn appeal to the God of heaven to decide between you and us, and we pray that, in doubtful scale of battle, success as we have justice on our side, and that the merciful Savior of the world may forgive our oppressors. We all know men like Adams, Washington, and Jefferson prevailed in their fight for equality and liberty for their people. I encourage you to study their methods and the self-evident truths of their cause. This is Jake McCauley with the Institute on the Constitution, bringing you the American View.